Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another vlog. Day in the life, hobby hunting, whatever you want to call it. Read through all the requests you guys left me in last week's video, which I have a ton of. Thank you guys so much. But uh, one that I kept seeing was people asking me to just bring back the day in the life, the vlogs, me going out to the card shops and whatnot. And since I have been back into the card game slightly, figured we might as well do it. I do got to say it is only 9 a.m. and the shop don't open till 11. And uh, my house is an absolute pigsty as usual in the Wyatt's World vlogs. So I'm going to tidy it up around here, probably take you guys with me and we'll see where the day takes us and here is my disaster of a living room Buxton. hey buddy i even got clothes on my bathroom floor man i'm never this lazy anybody else like me if your jeans are clean they're clean meaning unless they have dirt and they stink like i'm gonna wear them again same with sweatshirts oh yeah we're also battling a dilemma right now with the uh, kitties we got them a new litter box or emily got them new litter boxes but cleo is too big for one and she shit on the floor the first day so i had to bring this one back in here but now it looks like she's getting it together oh i got a full laundry too no for those who missed my stream last night <coughs> All right, we're out enjoying the beautiful Minnesota morning in February. Feels like it could be the opening day of baseball right now, dude. It's crazy. Like, I actually don't even need this hood. I don't have gloves on, nothing. Here, you guys want to go see the pond hockey rink right now at this park? Think they got to play like twice this year or something. I'm not complaining though. Like I said, after uh, Christmas, like winter, it can go away. Like I don't want it after Christmas. And by the way, it rained on Christmas in Minnesota. It was stupid this year. Uh, as far as what we got to do before we head to the card store itself is we actually have to go to Barnes and Noble and pick up a copy of Harry Potter and the Gobble to Fire for Emily. You see, the thing about it is I started reading all these books and then she's like, oh, I want to read them too. And she reads 10 times fucking faster than me and caught up to me within like two weeks and now we're fighting over it. Funny how that works out. Oh, big old nature guy. <laughs> he's assaulting me. <laughs> oh, he's so vicious. Dude, you guys got to see what I got from my dad. Team Hufflepuff, baby. I guess you guys probably haven't seen my finished garage. We completely redid it. Got like a workbench in here and everything. All right, we're in the car now. Uh, There's my mall again. It's 11.06, so the shop is open, although it's like a 35, 40 minute drive if I go the speed limit. All right, first order of business. Not gonna be able to talk loud in here. Ooh. Wands? Damn. A time turner? All right, enough. All right, so we're on the road to the shop now. We got Emily's book, obviously. Uh, it was kind of awkward. I saw someone from high school in there, and I haven't been in high school for 10 years, by the way. So it was a little awkward in itself just seeing them, but we weren't exactly friends either. So like, we just, we didn't hate each other, but we weren't friends. We haven't seen each other in 10 years, and we locked eyes, and it was just kind of like, okay. <laughs> it's what growing up is all about, unfortunately, just uncomfortably running into people the rest of your life. This drive is so ass. Like, it's not long, 25 miles, whatever, but it's just so ass. It's so boring. I imagine this is what it's like to drive through Nebraska. All right, we're in the town now, but I am simply too hungry to continue, so I swung by a Culver's. Got a Culver's Deluxe, some fries, and a root beer. Yeah, this is getting eviscerated. Wow, these actually look really good and crispy. They are they're hot, they're fresh. Now the Berg. Oh my gosh, I love Culver's so much. Look at that. I know I'm starving, but this is pretty close to a 10 for a meal. This is just delicious. All right, we're here. My belly is full and I'm a little bit more than ready to make a bad decision. I think this is all football. This is football on this wall, right? I am all football, then basketball, right? Basketball, and then baseball's over there. Yep, baseball, hockey, then like miscellaneous stuff right there. Cool. Do you guys still have Star Wars? Oh, you do? Yep. Oh, my gosh. All the singles. All right, so I'm out, and I actually meant to film so much more, but those guys were really nice, and I just got 
caught up in conversation and completely forgot what I was doing. But I think I filmed a little bit and I actually got, so I got two boxes of Prism. Which is, you know, the big one that I always want is Prism. But I also got a box of Topps Chrome Baseball so we can chase after Adley or Gunner. Got a lot of packs to open though, so I'm not sure how we'll do it. Anyway, we gotta go home, so we're hitting the road. One more thing about these Topps Chrome cards, it's really cool, there's buyback cards in there. So if I pull a Ronald Acuna or a Shohei Otani, it's like 20 bucks, or if it's a parallel, it's 40 bucks. Like, you take them to the shop and they'll buy them back. It's something Topps is doing. I didn't know about that, so actually really, really cool. All right, we're back in town now. Uh, it is 12.45, but I'm going to need to take Buck outside and play with him a little bit before I open any cards, meaning this vlog probably isn't going to hit YouTube until, I don't know, 4 or 5 o'clock maybe? maybe? It could be earlier, it could be later, but uh, yeah, it'll be out today. Just in due time. Uh-oh, would you look at this? I got a slab in the mail too. Perfect timing. Okay, so I'm down here in my basement since Emily's home with Buxton, as you can see over in the corner, and all the cards that we're gonna open. I think we'll do the slab last because we know that this is a goodie. I ordered that about a week ago. So uh, let's do football first. Ready? One, two, three. Ta-da! So there is six packs per blaster, four cards per pack in Panini Prism. So why don't we get into it? The lighting isn't going to be perfect down here, but it's the best it can be. Anyway, we got Danny Carlson, J.K. Dobbins, Ooh, nice disco of Emmanuel Forbes and a Ramondre Stevenson. Next pack, and this one's fat. This feels thick. Save it for last. All right, so kicking us off, we got Dalton Schultz. Deuce Vaughn rookie card. Trayvon Diggs disco. Too bad it's not a rookie. And a Micah Hype. Micah Hyde. Micah Parsons Hype. Dang, that was a complete Texas pack, and three of the players were Cowboys. We just want a CJ Stroud. That's, that's the one we're chasing, obviously. He's going to pay for the entire blaster. Aaron Jones. Jalen Carter. That's nice. I'll take that. Mac Jones Refractor and a Hunter Henry. Eh, Jalen Carter ain't bad. On we go. Ben Skoranek. Sean Clippard. Why does that look like it's some sort of special card? Xavier McKinney Disco and a Quez Watkins. What the hell is this? I mean, okay. Next pack. We got Andre Johnson. Another Sean Clifford. What? What is it with this guy, dude? Aaron Donald Disco and a Traylon Burks. Damn, dude. This box hasn't been all that great. Let's hope this thick pack actually has something. Oh, well, there's definitely something in here. We'll go Derwin James, a Fred Warner, a Disco Puka Nakua. Holy balls. Okay. And then Hendon Hooker. Oh, it is a jersey. Okay. Well, probably not worth a whole lot, but still cool to get it. Box number two of football. Ready? One, two, three. Probably lame. Michael Pittman Jr. Kalen Thompson. Ivan Pace on the rookie. Nice. Disco again. And a Trey Lance in the Cowboys. Next pack, Van Jefferson. Jalen Carter again. Nice. Jordan Addison. Oh, I squeaked. Jordan Addison uh, refracture. That's sick. A parallel rookie. That's amazing. And a Kyle Duggar. Next one, Rashawn Gary. Jerome Ford. Vita Vea in the disco. And no rookie there, Jeffrey Simmons. Next pack, Eckler. Sean Clifford, holy fuck, dude. Andre Johnson in the disco. That's actually a really cool looking card. And a Brian Dawkins. Two packs left. Got a little Penny Sewell action. Patrick Queen, Disco Deuce Vaughn, and a Curtis Samuel. And the last pack of football. Mike Williams, Future Bill. Peter Skaronsky, Disco of Cole Komet, and a Christian McCaffrey fireworks insert. So here is what I got for the hit pile here. And honestly, I don't think I probably got my money's worth. Definitely didn't, but it's not all that bad other than getting 87 Sean Cliffords. And we got the Disco Forbes. This is a really good card, Addison. And then these Jalen Carters are gonna be nice. The Puka is obviously amazing too. And then the Jersey, eh, kind of whatever. Now it's time for the baseball, Topps Chrome. It's one of these kind of boxes. Uh, looks like we got seven. So let's get into it. Like I said, we want Akuna, Shohei Otani, Gunnar Henderson, or uh, Adley. I think Spencer Torkelson. There's a bunch of other good guys in here too. All right, so I'm going to be quick and just call out the rookies for these because baseball, I don't know some of the people and there is so much base in baseball. So just kind of cycling through here, not seeing a whole lot yet. There's Fernando Tatis and our first hit is going to be a Luis Arias, just a base. Pretty lame. Cool Ozzy there. That's cool. George Springer, Blue Jays, 35th anniversary. Salvador Perez, and we still don't have a rookie. George Springer again. Come on, baseball. I mean, we're in this for the rookie cards, if anything. I don't want all these stupid base ones. Hey, there we go. Rin Nelson. Got a Bo Bichet here and a Chris Sale. 
Oh, we gotta get lucky. This is bad. Well, the eighth George Springer. Simeon Woods Richardson, rookie from the Twins. I'm gonna be honest, don't even think he plays. Matt Chapman, that's a cool card. And we got a double in this one. That is Alex Thomas. This is bad, boys. All right, Nolan Arenado, Jose Altuve. Drew Waters, rookie card. There's a good rookie. Well, probably not, but it's at least a parallel. Jordan Groshans. Don't even know who the hell he is either. And Raphael Devers. Oh, come on, man. Bring us some love here, Randy Arena. There's a rookie. Vinny Pasquantino. I mean, we're getting the whole Royals rookies here. Bubba Thompson. There we go is another rookie. Alex Bregman, Jonathan Aranda, another rookie, not complaining anymore, and CJ Abrams again. Well, at least we're getting rookie cards, dude. It's just terrible when you don't even get those. And the last pack, we got Freddie Freeman, Bo Bichet, Pete Alonzo. That is sick. Ultraviolet All-Star. Josh Smith rookie card. Anthony Volpe rookie card, and a Ryan McMahon to end it. So here are the baseball hits, which I, I just am not certain about any of these cards, if I'm being completely honest. I was strictly just going after, like, Spencer Torkelson, Gunnar Henderson, fucking Adley. But, I mean, if I at least got some rookies that could eventually turn into something, this box won't be a complete miss. Although this Pete, again, it's either just really cool or it might be rare. And ending, we got the slab. You guys know me. I only go for PSA 10s. And there is a rookie that is worth something. Look at that cracked ice blue Royce Lewis tops chrome rookie PSA 10. That is a beautiful looking card. And now I get to clean all this up. Yay! That is all I got for today's video, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you guys liked another vlog on Wyatt's World Extra. Let me know in the comments if you want to see more, which I mean by the sounds of it you guys do, but just reassurance is nice. Anyway, with everything I said, I'm going to get this edited so you guys can watch it on Thursday. I hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your night, and as always, I will see you in the next upload.